I align with a movement called um, Public Candid Street Photography. Every weekend, every free time, as long as it's light outside, as long as there are people around, give me a festival. That's perfect for me. Lots of people, lots of light, everyone having fun. Give me those situations and I will be outside all through the summer. I'm walking the streets of the city looking for, looking for people and moments that inspire me. When you are out taking photos, you, especially candid ones, you need a ton of confidence. Bear in mind, when I'm taking photos, I'm not using a long lens. I'm not standing, you know, half a mile away with some sort of, you know, press photographer's long lens, sort of, you know, taking a photo where you literally have no concept that I'm taking it. I'm about as far away from you as, as, I would to take a photo, so maybe six feet, three feet sometimes. Um, I've got one camera where you can get about one foot away from someone and still take their photo, and the camera's about the size of my hand, so it's you know, very discreet. Um, but to do that, you need a ton of confidence. You need to be able to be that close to someone and take the photo without having asked them permission first. When I first started street photography, I would not approach, I, I would not get close enough. And you can see that in my work and how it's progressed. The most rewarding part for me is this is a create a, a different kind of creative outlet. Um, when I'm out on the street with my camera, it is a way for me to see it uh, or um, experience a different aspect of my crea creativity. It's very spontaneous. It's also very relaxing, so I get a lot of relaxation from doing that, from, from um, composing a scene or if something is unfolding really quickly, you get that sort of, you get in the zone, you get in the moment, you, sometimes your heart might start racing because you've got that slight buzz, that adrenaline coming in and you hear the click of the shutter, it's just those little things that um, sort of make it very relaxing and rewarding but also then of course there's that secondary bit where you do get to look at the photos afterwards and you see what works and you see what doesn't and sometimes the ones that you think would have worked have not worked and the ones that you thought oh, that would never make anything special you get that on the computer and you go actually yes that composition has worked.